Greetings everybody, I'm Lobo and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Our current quest is a daughter's vengeance. Jan, a young Nora, is worried about his sister Nikoa who left the sacred lands to find their father's killer. Our objective is to talk to Zaid, who is right up here. He is the killer. Allegedly. Allegedly. We can't say that definitively. Even though there are eyewitnesses and all kinds of evidence. Uh, in his defense, he says he didn't do it. Let's talk to this guy. You're Zaid. And you're Anora. I can tell from your tone you've heard of me. Let me ease your mind. There seem to be wild stories about me among your tribe. But the Nora have me mistaken for someone else. I'm not sure where the fault lies, but the fog of war often breeds confusion. Unfortunately, some refuse to acknowledge the error. So it was with the last Nora who came through here. The last Nora who came through here. You mean Nikoa? Is that her name? Oh, well. It was a very unfortunate situation. She attacked me in broad daylight. If one of my men hadn't spotted her, I might well have been injured. But we were able to subdue her without harm. What did you do with her? I let her go, of course. It was clear she thought I was responsible for unspeakable things. So, in a sense, her actions were justifiable. I explained that she was wrong, then sent her on her way. Sadly, I don't think she believed me. Where is Nikoa now? I don't know exactly. She left raving that she would find a way to bring me down. But I did hear a report from the garrison at Lonesome Rock that a young woman had been abducted by bandits. Might have been her. Hmm. Now, might these bandits have been your goons? Because you seem like the type of guy that has goons. So you deny participating in the Red Raids? No, I didn't say that. I did have a role in those operations, albeit a very limited one. But all this nonsense about torture and murder, that wasn't me. They have me confused with some other commander. I don't doubt some of my comrades did bad things, but Sun King of Odd has worked hard to eliminate such brutality. You know what it sounds like to me? It sounds like y'all did some bad stuff and now you're on a PR campaign. That's what it sounds like. You've really gone out of your way to help, Prefect Said. It's no trouble. The Sun King wishes to make amends with your people. And I am his humble servant. I'll go to Lonesome Rock and get to the bottom of this. I promise you that. You do that. And if our men are anything less than helpful, please let me know. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll let you know. I'll be back. The goons you send better be good ones. I gotta, I gotta warn you, I, I'll take people out. Clear entire bandit camps. The derangement. Um, <clears throat> okay, so you guys know the deal? If you want to read it, feel free to pause the video. This is a big one, wow. If y'all ever want to give me the too long didn't read versions of these down in the comments, feel free to. I would appreciate that actually, because I haven't gotten around to reading a lot of these yet. Uh, mostly because they're too long, so I didn't read them. Um, but let's go ahead and see if there's anything else we need to do here at Day Tower before we move on to Lonesome Rock. Something down here. Can't trust him, not after what Jan told me. That garrison is my only lead. I'll just mind my own. Alright. I do not see it. Oh, yes, I do. There it is. All right, all right, so we are ready to go to Lonesome Rock. Where is Lonesome Rock? Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's a, that's a long, that's a long walk. Nicole, you made that walk? Wow. All right, maybe we don't do that. There's no way we get over there. So what we could do instead, we'll slowly work our way over there, but instead I think Maybe we'll go and investigate the Forsaken Village, since that is in our immediate area. Um, I mean, we could even we could even fast travel over there. And then on the way back, we can look at the Vantage and probably make our way down to this Corrupted Zone. Yeah. That sounds like a plan to me, so I will meet you there. The machines must have come across Captain Ballon's patrol here. All right, in foreign lands. Balan, the captain at Day Tower, needs assistance searching the valley for a missing Karja patrol. Our duty is to investigate the Forsaken Village. 
Which is good, we're just investigating, because we already cleared out this village last episode. This was a corrupted zone, it is no longer. Alright, so, what do we have here? Oh. Our soldiers fell here. The other soldiers must have retreated. But to where? Well, I can tell you already, this is not looking good. But it looks like at least some of them survived because we do have tracks leading off. So, we'll go ahead and follow those across the river. Another card or soldier. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that yes, others did survive because they did cross this river. Because we have tracks to show us that, right? Alright, the question is... That, did I forget to look at the body? I must have forgot to look at the body. Okay. This can't be the helmet from the last part of soldier. I'll look at the helmet though. Someone nearly lost his head here. And ran off. Alright, so maybe we're just tracking one guy. Maybe there's a there's a sole survivor. But where did he run off to? That's the question. Because I would think you'd want to stick to the roads instead of going for a swim, right? Most likely. More rain. My boots will get damp. What is that? Snap maw. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, it's a uh, it's an alligator. Are we really going to have to go through the lake? <laughs> I don't want to go through the lake. Not with robot alligators. Blood everywhere. Alright. A machine dragged something into the water here. But maybe he made it to that island. Uh, we're going to investigate, aren't we? Aren't we, Aloy? Find him on the island. Okay. So he did go to the island. The objective kind of gives that away. So I guess we're going for a swim in robot alligator infested waters. I hope these guys aren't sneaky. I don't think they're sneaky. There's there's one coming into the water over there. Okay. So we're going to go we're going to go kind of quick. At least they have headlights. You know, we can see where they're, where they are, where they're coming from. All right. Grass. Grass. Okay. Under, understatement of the of the day, Aloy. Okay, all right. Let's um, let's find this guy. Save these for the trail. And ask him why he decided to make his way to an island surrounded by robot alligators. Because that does not seem like the brightest move. What is that? I've never really See? done. I brought down all the beasts, but I missed out on the feasts. I went to the beer fount too many times to count. I fingered every curl, but I never won the girl. Alright, that's enough of that. I wasn't expecting to be found, especially not by Nora. I wasn't expecting to find a half-clad Karjan soldier singing like a drunk. Now, I apologize for my um, behavior. I thought I was dead. Come on. Your commander asked me to bring you back to Day Tower. I refuse to be led back to my outpost by Nora, like some prisoner. <sighs> Fine. Go by yourself. Wait. Look. I got in a tussle with a snap mob. It ate the half of me that was armor and bow. The thief is still in the water. I can't go back without a weapon. Find my bow, please. I'll get it. Just don't start singing again. I'll get it. Come on, Aloy. Say no. Man, 
All right. So this guy got his bow taken by a snap maw, and instead of getting it himself or going back without it, like he, what he should do is go back. Hey, I lost my bow. I need to be retrained because I'm horrible at my job. That's what he should do. But no, I need you to get my bow so that way people think I'm awesome when I'm really not. This freaking guy. This freaking guy. Alright, so we'll blast off all his armor and, and stuff. And he is weak to fire, so one more for good measure. And then we're gonna go ahead and switch over to fire. Hopefully, this is still effective in the water. Oh, yeah! He is super flammable! Look at that! He's glowing! This crocodile's glowing. Oh, and he's still got ranged attacks. He's still got ranged attacks, despite being armor and componentless. That's fine. That's fine. A couple more shots should do it. <clears throat> of course. We have a bunch of watchers down there now as well. We'll have to take care of those guys before we go down and retrieve the bow. This guy lost. Once again, because he's horrible at his job. Alright, hold still. Look me in the eye. Alright, Scrapper. Scrap, you want to shoot your energy balls at me? Uh, he's got another backpack, doesn't he? Yeah. Say bye to your backpack. <laughs> we got some watchers watching from the woods. Come on. Yeah, come on out. That makes things easier. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I was better hitting him, hitting him behind the tree. <laughs> All right, there we go. Um, I think we are clear. Why don't you go get your bow yourself, guy? All right. You know what? I might have to run around here and collect some stuff <laughs> while the area is clear. Just bear with me for a minute. While I figure out what I want to think about these Karja, because uh, so far they're not winning me over. So, like, I think the only decent one that we've met so far was probably the... Um... Well, there's Erend. That we met at that ceremony, but he, he was uh, Asuram. He wasn't... Karja. I don't think I've met any Karja that I like. I, I am not, knowing what they've done so far, I am not inclined to, uh, to be sympathetic to the Karja. But, let's go up here, give him his bow, get him out of our hair, and then prepare to deal with these guys in bulk since we're going into their lands. How, why can I not parkour up this? I want to parkour up this. All right. Looks like we're going around the long way. I'm not going around the long way. I'm gonna climb over some rocks. I'm gonna try to climb over some rocks. Climb over these rocks. Here's your stupid bow. Here's your bow. Good luck out there. Thank you. I, uh, I didn't want to die in foreign lands like my men. May the sun light their passing. Like your men. Like the ones you're supposed to be looking out for. You know, I saw, I saw boot prints running away. What I didn't see? Arrow shafts littering the ground. That's what I did not see. Alright, um, I'm gonna, let me figure out what we're gonna do next. And I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. Alright, uh, so. Level up. Level 24 reached. Cool. Does that mean, you know what? We'll, uh, we'll muster out the skill points a little bit later. Uh, we are headed to the Corrupted Zone. This Corrupted Zone, which is pretty much the only other thing in this area that we can see so far. So we're going to go ahead and make our way over to the Corrupted Zone, see if anything else opens up for us. 
And we're gonna avoid these snap maws, if at all possible, because, uh... Yeah, don't want to deal with those guys <laughs> on their own, uh, on their own level, you know? Like, uh, down here on the ground? Nah, not looking forward to that. Fighting them from on, on top of big rock when they can't climb? That's that, that, that's, that's my jam right there. Uh, so... We don't have too far to go. In fact, looks like it's these guys up here. All right, so what are we dealing with? Let's get a little bit closer. We'll find out. Um, grass would be nice. Here we go. Here we go. All right, what do we got over here? Bird brain? Big ostrich? Corrupted long leg? Corrupted scrapper? So the long leg is what we're going to take out first. These guys are, uh, these guys are fairly tough. Oh, they are super tough. Okay. Uh, that did not do as much damage as I was hoping it would. All right. So, stealthy until we're not, we're, we're, we, we're not stealthy, so, uh, we'll just get into this, these guys. Oh, man. <laughs> We're getting a nice little group here if he just keeps this up. Ooh. Alright. Now we'll go smack him around a little bit. Oh my goodness. Maybe not. Maybe we just learned to stay away from those guys. How about that? How about that, Lobo? Ooh, okay. What was that? Junk falling out of trees or something? Alright, so it looks like all we have left is a scrapper. It's behind a rock. It's hiding. That's all right. He can wait a few minutes. We're going to collect some stuff. He, he's not causing us any issues right now. Yeah, Unfortunately, gosh. though, you are an objective, so, uh, be back around to you. Momentarily, Mr. Scrapper. All right. So. You are there. You need to come over here. Because I would prefer not to enter the water to pick up your parts. Alright, we'll just wait for him. We'll wait for him. Oh, uh-oh. We've angered the snap maws. Okay, okay. Um... Oh! Oh, no, he angered the snap maws. That's nice. Ow, that, that's not nice. Snap maw breath is not nice. All right, uh, so, yeah, we just got helped out by the, by the crocodiles. Alligators, pretty cool. All right, um, next stop along our journey will probably, I think, be this vantage as we work our way back up to the pass. So, let's go ahead and make our way over here and hear what a Paka Poop Storm Day 96 has in store for us. Then I would prefer, once again, not to go into the water. <laughs> I don't need wet boots. Soaking around, 
splish splash it every time I take a step, you know? Also, it's dangerous stuff in that water. Got snap maws. Fish. <laughs> Couple watchers over here. No big deal. In fact, we're just gonna quickly take these guys out. And I wasn't expecting there to be more of them. Okay. So, now we're gonna run. Get this guy before he calls attention to us. And they're on to me, they're on to me, they're on to me, they're, they're, okay, they're giving up, they're giving up. We're still gonna take him out. We're just gonna do it from up here. Where I can clearly see the reds of their eyes. let that guy go away. Alright. So we are looking for the Vantage, which is somewhere over here. Is that? No, that's a Watcher. Huh. It's They're usually up higher, right? I think that might be it over there. Let's go ahead and check that out. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. So we'll go ahead and make our way over here. See what old Bashar has to say for himself this time. A pocket shit storm tour, day eight. Holy crap. That glitched out lifter that crushed your arm and clavicle. Back before you met Wyatt. That was in a mine back beyond these falls. Oh. What a punk I was. All right. Um, so next stop along our journey. So we, we are going to make our way into Karja lands. I think. Maybe we go in and south. We do this cauldron, the tall neck, and that should let us see what's actually going on in this area, right? So let's go ahead and get up here. I'll meet you back at day tower. All right. So here we are, officially leaving the Sacred Lands for the first time, ready to travel off into the unknown. But first, but first, we're going to make our way down here to this cauldron, set a waypoint for that, then we'll get the tall neck and all that stuff, and do whatever else we come across along the way, you know? Um, and then we'll figure out what happened to Nikoa. We'll figure out what kind of scumbaggery Olin's been up to. Be a good time. Be a good time. All right, so this uh, this terrain's not super hospitable. How are we even going to get to the cauldron? All right, you know what? I think we need to head back through here. Yeah, because there's no way we, we get through those mountains. So up and around. So it's going to be down that way. I believe that's the road. I think that is the road we're going to take. So there's an easy way down here. It's not going to break my ankles. More than willing to take it. Here we go. It's cold. It's down down right on land. I need to find Olin and learn everything he knows. Who the killers were. How they saw me through his focus. Who the woman is. One who looks like me. Why they want me dead. Olin's trail leads to Meridian. When I catch him, he will talk. And he will pay for all the lives he's ruined. Oh yes, he will. We're not finished getting our vengeance for Rost. Not by a long shot. We got Olin. We got the uh the big dude. With the pecs. <laughs> yeah. Lots of people to pay. Right, we are also full health. Full medicinal pouch. That's good. Cauldron should be right up here. Area seems pretty calm. 
which is not a great sign. That means all the bad stuff's lurking inside the cauldron. <sighs> cauldron R-H-O. Level 11. You know what? We'll take that. Well, I will take a level 11 cauldron. Then again, maybe I shouldn't get too cocky because remember how that bandit camp went. Get kind of careless on lower level quests and those actually end up going pretty bad for me usually. What are we even dealing with down here? We got watchers. Watchers. Turkey. Alright, watchers and turkeys. I think we can handle this. Boom. Alright. And why I'm trying to engage these guys through the trees. How about you? Can't really get a Now they're hunting me. Eh. It's just as well. Go down a little bit closer, get a better view. They want to come over here, they can come over here, but I would not recommend it. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Cauldron discovered. Cauldron RH row. Cauldron, cauldron row. <clears throat> Clear these guys out. Collect the stuff out here. Once we're done collecting this stuff out here, we'll make our way into the cauldron. Uh, hopefully try to wrap that up before the end of the video. Tough, but I'm used to it. That might be a good way to finish off this episode. We've got some time. We got some time, but not a ton of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that was, uh... Well, that was somebody looking at me. Coils. We're gonna have to um, go sell some stuff. I don't want to. Like, I know we got the hoarder thing, but I don't want to um, over overrun my inventory again. All right. So it looks like we're gonna be going down. Something over there. All right. So it looks like we're gonna be going down on this side first. Nope. Nope. Don't need it. Alright, so the last cauldron, that allowed us to be able to override certain machines like sawtooth, stuff like that. Uh, Some kind of liquid flowing through that pipe. This pipe right here? This pipe? This one, probably do the same thing, uh, but give us the ability to maybe get those long legs that we have such trouble with. But here we are. No turning back now. I'm really hoping that uh, we don't run across any long legs in confined areas. That could be an issue. Because <laughs> their blast is super, like, to look for a way in. What a waste. super percussive. I don't want to get blown off anything. I also don't want to get, like, cornered, you know? Turbine can support human weight. That's kind of an odd thing to uh, to mention. <laughs> Wonder if that means something. Maybe a little hint. Maybe, possibly, perhaps. I hear this watcher somewhere. But I don't know where he is. I don't want to get caught by surprise. You know. All right. So much for being careful. They were curious too. Aren't you screaming, Aloy? Better prepared. I hope it's enough. So everybody know we're here. Hey guys, it's Aloy coming into your cauldron now. All right. I. Yep. Here you know what? <laughs> oh no 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 no. Put that thing away. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that was a close one. That was a close one. Okay. Alright, so. Okay, this is the turbine. 
which can support human weight. So, it looks like we're just parkouring our way across this. We're, we're free, free climbing. Good thing Aloy spent all that time in the rock gym, huh? Alright. Now, I thought this would be my doom, but it looks like it's... Okay, yeah. I mean, we can even climb back up. So I was I was worried for no reason. That that scared me though. Rushing sound again. All right. So what do we have here? Supply crate. Right down here. Right, good, good, good. Anything? We're missing. I just want to be sure I'm collecting everything. I know I'm going a little bit slow, but I want to make sure I'm getting everything because once we leave here, we're not coming back. I really need to be careful where I'm stepping. Wow. Okay. Oh, and you know what? You know what? Before I forget, uh, our, our bows that we got, our new bows, they're not super beefy. So, we'll see if we've got any more coils to put on them. I didn't really have... Yeah, I don't, I don't really have a whole lot. I was hoping we'd pick something up. We could add fire to this one. Alright, so now we have... More power for our fire, which is good. Alright. So... Ravager. Oh my goodness, that's like a sawtooth on steroids. Wow. Ravager Cannon. This heavy weapon can be picked up and used after it has been detached from the machine. I mean, that sounds good and all. But, uh... You guys know my luck with the heavy weapons. Every time I pick one up, I end up getting slapped around. Because everything I want to use it on is too close for it to be effective, you know? I mean, it's still effective, but... It's not, uh... Not the range that you'd want to use that from. This is bad. This is bad. Okay. Okay. You know what? This is our fallback point. And then comes past here is getting blown up. We'll go ahead and take the. Take the watcher out. Got two watchers. Go ahead and get rid of them so that way we only have to deal with the Ravager. Alright. And try to. Try to make him brittle. Way over there. All right, um, yeah, this, this vent's not keeping me stealthy at all. That's fine. That's fine, we'll engage this guy, we'll see, uh, we'll see what he's made of. What is, uh, he's on the other side. Oh, he's not even a threat to us, I was so worried. Oh! No, he is. He is. I take that back. <laughs> I take that back. Oh, wow. Wow. Get rid of all his range weaponry, except for that just seems to have made him mad. That just seems to have made him mad. Oh, my gosh. I saw the inside of the wall. You know what? You come over here. No, see, this is what happens. This is what happens. Oh, but then that's what happens. Wow. This guy is toast. Look at that. I need to get rid of some. I told you inventory management was still going to be an issue. Hoarder. All right. Sell for metal shards, that's all this is good for. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of this. What else can we get rid of that's not going to 
affect us too much. These, I keep picking these up. And I have no reason to because, I mean, we already are full on potions. And I never use my potions. Okay. The Ravager's not too bad. Not too bad, so long as we can get a hold of his cannon. Then again, we want to refrain from using that thing at close range, because once that thing starts its melee attacks, it is, uh, puts your, it puts your head in a wall. Which is, needless to say, very, very uncomfortable. Alright. So it looks like we're going to be hitching rides on all these, like, mover things again. Which is fine by me. It's fine by me. Cover more ground faster that way. Alright, so we gotta override this thing. Oh my goodness! That is not what I wanted to do. Can we go up this way? Oh my gosh. There's an easier way to go up. Okay. That's fine. That should get me through. That should get me through. Get me through where? Through here? Oh yeah, okay. That's where the Ravager came from. I guess we couldn't pass through there before, but he could. Alright. Well, that does not seem to be working. But I think I know what I need to do. Because these uh, mover things, these cargo things, they were going through there, but we couldn't go through there before. But now, we should be able to hitch a ride through there on these. So it's like a little, it's a little puzzle. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. So from up here, we can get a pretty good idea of what we're dealing with, even though we can't really see much because we are already at the end of our journey. Right, so, I guess we're jumping across here. And then going through this corridor, okay. Watchers galore down that way, okay. I don't know that we're going to be able to finish the cauldron in this episode. Because I feel like we're running short on time. Like, the timer I'm looking at, it's, it, it's kind of uh, iffy for judging the actual length of those videos, because I, I know I cut parts out, like, for... Um, like, when well, I'm in the menu and stuff like that. But I feel like we are running short on time at this point, so... Oh. The plan... is gonna be to clear these guys out. Clear this room out. And then I think we'll probably call it. So, uh, let's see what, uh, what this room has to offer. Got some health over here. I need that after that Ravager incident. And what is down here? We want to venture down a side passage. I don't know. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's see what this has to offer. I don't know how far out of the way it's going to take us or if it's just going to take us to some supplies, which are much needed and much appreciated. Yep, yep, okay. And then that is the end of this. We get back down to the main area. Loot the Watchers. And then I need to take a, I need to take a Good break. Good find. Alright, supply crate over here. 
grab this real quick. Just I want just want to make sure I got everything before we uh before we move on, you know. All right, so I think that should just about do it. Oh, that is that is not what I wanted. Ah, there's machine water all over me. All right, where am I going? There we go. There's the door. Okay. So I do think this is where we are going to call it for today. So I hope you guys are enjoying Horizon Zero Dawn as much as I am. Wow, look how tired Aloy is. She needs a break. I need a break too. We're going to take a break. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Until next time, I am Lobo, and I will see you later.